Here's something. Try saying Reese Witherspoon when you've had more than two beers. It's almost impossible. Somewhere near the intersection of art, science, and inspiration lies brewing. And just a few minutes north from there is the Captain Lawrence Brewing Company. Welcome back to the Happy Hour, guys, and welcome to Pleasantville, New York. We are here at the Captain Lawrence Brewing Company, actually in their tasting room. Pretty sweet, huh? Who was Captain Lawrence? Captain Lawrence was a Revolutionary War captain who's actually buried right down the road from the street that's named after him. Really? We love these guys. We've been here a couple of times. The last time, uh, well, let's just say we have better equipment now. You might remember a couple of months ago, we did a little episode called How to Drink Summer Beer. Well, we're back with another how-to episode. This is how to drink winter beer or stouts, porters, and warmers. Oh, my. Here we are at Captain Lawrence Brewing Company with Scott Vaccaro, the uh, head brewer and owner. Sure, works. good to me. So what we want to do today is give a little primer on what to look for and what to expect from porters and stouts. Winter brews. Strong, dark, and hearty. So we're looking for, uh, you know, maybe a warming quality. And then we're talking about these dark, roasty, and rich flavors. Coffee-like flavors, um, chocolatey, roasty. Explain the difference between a porter and a stout for people that don't really know, like Jimmy. You're going to put me on the spot with this one. We can edit this. The difference is, yeah. <laughs> You may have to. The, uh, the difference between porter and stout is very, very slight. When we're brewing a porter versus a stout, in our stouts we use roasted barley, which is a traditional ingredient in stouts. When the English were taxing the hell out of the malt, the Irish said, screw you, we're not going to use all malt, we're going to use just raw barley and we're going to roast the hell out of it and such, you know, stouts were kind of born. The Irish, did you hear that? The Irish. I knew it! And I believe Guinness was originally called a stout porter, meaning it was a stronger porter. Porters tend to be a little less burnt or a little less roasty and a little more um, maybe a little chocolatier and stouts tend to be a little maybe a little drier and with that burnt coffee-like character from the roasted barley. I, I think you did very well on that. <laughs> <laughs> now you did some studying in England yes. and uh, and you I read your bio. Well in, I mean England taught me a lot about the ability to pack a massive amount of flavor into a very weak beer. Because most of the English beers aren't very strong. When we're talking about the stronger beers, where I really kind of picked up on those was reading about the Belgian ales. England taught me a lot about packing flavor, and the Belgians taught me a lot about making a strong beer. This is a warmer, a warmer. Ah, the winter warmer. Yes. Well, the warmer is a beer that is strong enough to warm you up in the winter. <laughs> and you, you have a warmer, do you not? We do. Well, right here. there it is. Look at that. Nor'easter winter warmer. It doesn't really follow any guidelines. It's strong. It's dark. It's uh, brewed with elderberries. It's aged in bourbon barrels. Your father smelt of elderberries. Yes. Can can we try some of that? <laughs> now we're not going to take you to some place like this if you can't come and enjoy it yourself. We're not like that. So Captain Lawrence Brewing Company has a tasting room right behind me. It's open from Fridays from four to seven, Saturdays from twelve to six. Sample a couple of these excellent brews yourself, as close to the source as is humanly possible, unless you stick your head in one of the barrels. And then you can take a growler home and enjoy it later. Arr. Once the weather turns warm again, we got something new for you. That's the beautiful thing about, about what we do and about what Scott does. There's always something new on the way. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. This is the closest I've ever been to a bunghole. Mark! What? Help me, I'm stuck in the cask! I can't get out! Tough, you're aging. We'll drink you later. <laughs>